Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. The Phoenix Suns have one of the most high impact players in the NBA on their roster in Josh Okogi. This video is going to dive into his impact, but first let's take a look at the numbers. These are his per 36. The things that stand out to me are the blocks, steals, and rebounds. He'd average nearly 9 rebounds per game over a block and nearly 2 steals per game. So now let's look at the film and see how Josh Okoge impacts for the Phoenix Suns in pursuit of an NBA title. First, let's go to the defensive end of the floor where Josh Okoge really brings an impact at the point of attack. To add some numbers to this, in his on-off numbers, he's holding teams to negative 10.9 points per 100 possessions and also negative 5 shooting percentage and he's increasing turnovers by nearly 5%. Josh Okogie at the point of attack is just really physical and forceful in the way that he gets up and into the ball, never loses connection to the point unless if there's a switch where he does a good job at connecting and peeling off and doing what the Suns do in terms of switching on the ball. He's never lost and he's always there and the offense feels it. In all these ball screen clips to start, you can see that he does a really good job at fighting over, never leaving the play, rear view contesting, but at the end of the day, the pressure he applies before the catch, after the catch, and during the play is all what adds up to him being so impactful as an individual defender. And then that could all translate to ISO situations that we're going to get into now. He sits down, he gets low in his stance, he's very active with his feet, his hands, he does a good job at staying in front, allowing his chest to be a primary point of contact. He doesn't foul too often, he tries to keep his hands out of the equation, but it comes sometimes with over physicality, he will foul at times. But just having somebody on your bench that can come in, guard the best player on the opposing team, get up into them, and make plays is something that I think every team would want. Here against Luka, you can see that he gets up, he's slow, the hands are tracing the ball. He does a good job at finding the spot, getting in front, and doing a good contest. And at the end of the day, we talked about playmaking with the stats at the beginning. His ability to playmake as a defender in these one-on-one -on -one isolation situations is what I think could really make him great in the long haul off the bench. He forced a steal against the Morris twin, and then here against Rockets, he gets a block on a three-point attempt by Jalen Green. Offensively, his impact comes on the offensive glass. He, in his on-off numbers, is helping the Suns in a plus 10% increase in offensive rebound percentage, which is in the 100th percentile. He's one of the best offensive rebounders in the league with his activity, his athleticism, and his willingness to go and stick to plays and make things happen. He has been highly impactful of late in his minutes at just crashing the glass, being somebody that's hard to block out because of his quickness and his size isn't the biggest guy, but he puts himself in position to go make plays. And then he's able to finish these plays with great touch around the rim, whether he's tapping it in, finishing it with authority, or bringing it down, gathering, and going back up. He's very strong for his position. He has a little bit of size to him, only being 6'4", but he has strength. And that strength allows him to get into spaces, carve out in the paint, and go make these plays on the offensive glass. As you saw throughout all these clips, he does a great job at finding these cracks, finding these angles that allow him to have an opportunity to go get the ball. But at the end of the day, the effort that he exhibits on the glass is what helps him be so successful. And these last two clips are from the latest game against the Pelicans where the Suns won. And it came down to late game. And Josh Okoye went in there played hard in his minutes, and secured some offensive rebounds late to get the win. Josh Okogie isn't the biggest name on the Suns bench or a guy that you would really think of, but in the recent success of the Suns, his ability to guard his yard and guard some of the best players in the league and then rebound at the highest levels has really helped him gain more minutes and also help the Suns win. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something about Joshua Kogi and the Suns. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you in the next one.